And that's it, the route hunt point to point commences with this four year old maiden sponsored by Denison's. We have six leaving the starting area, making the way to the first of the 15 fences. And it's a game on who instantly takes up the early running on the run to number one, followed in second place by Cobbler's Boy. After these in third position, forming a one, two, three for the northern runners is only for our man. In turn, followed by Banter at the Bar, who takes number one in fourth place. Slight mistake there by High Court Cave, or McGill sat tight, and the back marker is the Galloway Raider, Count of Vendome. So the runners now make their way towards the back straight section on the first lap of this four year old maiden, and as they settle down, Declan Lavery has now moved up aboard Cobbler's Boy to share the lead with Game On as they approach this second fence. Settled in third place is only for our man and Noel McParland who in turn is then followed by the Wexford runner in the race which is banter at the bar for Jamie Scallon and the two back markers remain High Court, Cave and Count of Vendome. So they now make their way to fence number three towards the end of this back straight section and as they come to rise at this fence all six over it safely it's game on sharing the lead with cobbler's boy one and two they're being tracked in third place by only for our man and then fourth sitting about three or four lengths down is banter at the bar this newcomer for the Doyle team out of a mare who was pretty successful for William Mullins Giavoli. Back then to find in fifth place is Noel Kelly's runner, High Court Cave, back marker. Through the first five furlongs of the contest is Count of Vendome. So they now come through the next gapway and enter the home straight to face into fences numbers four and five. And on the run down to this one, precious little to choose between Game On, Darren McGill and Declan Avery on Cobbler's Bay. They get away from the fence, one and two. Followed in third place by only for our man who's alongside Banter at the bar. Coming along now to fence number five. The yellow jacket of Cobbler's Bay for the partnership of Declan Lavery and Paddy Turley. They are just in front from the runner representing Maureen Ewing in second. That's game on. So as they approach fence number six, it's Cobbler's Boy, the son of Diamond Boy. Put the brakes on there, but got, on, got over it nonetheless and was joined on landing by game on. The next pair beside each other are only for our man who's on the inside of banter at the bar and then you have a break of two lengths to the two who remain held up at the back of the field they are high court cave and finally the back marker count of vendome in the hands of owen man they've covered a mile and a quarter and they have their sights on fence number seven and a cleaner jump this time by Cobbler's Boy who has an advantage now about a length. So Cobbler's Boy from Game On. The next pair sitting in the mid rank there are only for our man who is alongside Banter at the bar. So they now head towards halfway and take fence number eight. Again, all over it, all, all appear to be over that one safely. So it's going to be left hand down, leaving the back straight. About to enter the final mile and a half of this four year old maiden. Game on, and Cogger's boy continue to lead the peloton. And they are one and two as they've been throughout, just in front from only for our man, and then in the fourth place is Banter at the bar. So back into the home straight, second time round. On the inside races Cobbler's Boy, a bit wider is game on as they come now down to fence number 9 of the 15. The field of six runners are covered by about seven lengths, they're kind of stacking up behind one another, trying to shield from the elements as they splash through the mud away from that fence. And it's still Cobbler's Boy, game on 1 and 2, stalking in 3 and 4 only for our man. And 
and banter at the bar and then latching on to him in fifth place is High Court Cave and a few lengths of a break then to counter Vendome who is last of six. So a circle to cover and the field now are about to wheel out into the back straight for the final time. And Cobbler's Boy with a three parts of a length advantage over Game On and then there's a length and a half to find in third place only for our man who's a half length and turn ahead of Banter at the Bar and then two and a half lengths to count at Vendome who now relegates High Court Cave to be last of the six runners. On the stretch now to the fourth last fence and pace yet to really pick up but it is Cobbler's Boy alongside Game On moseying up closer on the outside and third place is Banter at the bar still holding his position not far away in four is only for our man and then Count of Dundon so at this next one and the two leaders now picking up from the front it is Cobbler's Boy just in front here from in second spot is Game On Cobbler's Boy Game On one and two in third place is only for our man and with these is banter at the bar this is the third last fence they come to now and as they jump this one and all the leaders appear to take it safely and away from that one it is cobbler's boy who's gonna turn for home just in front from game on on their heels all the time only for our man and banter at the bar it's going to be a, a late dash to the finish here as the leading quartet are covered by about three lengths so they're turning for home Still holding on, Cobbler's Boy from Game On. Trying to get to him then is Banter at the bar and only for our man. But as they come down to the second mass, the two who've been up there all the way are still in front. Game On on the outside of uh, Cobbler's Boy and then Banter at the bar as they come now running down to the second last fence. And it is Game On now asked for a big jump on the outside. Game On with Cobbler's Boy on the inside. It's Game On, Cobbler's Boy as they head now down to the final fence. Game On, Cobbler's Boy. These two fighting it out but trying to get to him on the outside is Banter at the bar and as they come to the final fence on the inside Cobbler's Boy Banter at the bar on the outside is arriving on the scene bad mistake on shipping game on and now Banter at the bar has arrived in time to win for Jamie Scallon Banter at the bar son of a good race mayor gets the job done and gets up in the closing stages to defeat Diamond Bo to defeat uh, Cobbler's Boy who is second back in third was only for our man and then High Court Cave and Count of Vendome.